Hi, welcome back. Today, I'm gonna to share with you seven compliments, absolutely guaranteed to open any doors, any relationship, to really help establish a friendship, okay? Let's, here's the first one. Pretty and beautiful. Pretty and beautiful. You're gonna take your five hand like this, and you're gonna grab it across your face and bring the fingers and thumb together. Pretty, pretty. There's the front half, that's how it looks, okay? Pretty. Now, I've already signed beautiful. It's the same sound with a little extra flourish at the end. Beautiful. See how it's a grab and an open? So pretty and beautiful. Let's practice. Your dress is beautiful, okay? Dress is signed like this. Open five hand from the chest down to the waist and going out, okay? You see that? Your dress is beautiful, beautiful. How about your house is pretty? It's a sign for house. See that peaked roof and it comes down to the sides? House is pretty. There you go. And here's the one you should learn more than any other song today, okay? You are beautiful, okay? Everybody likes to hear that, okay? You are beautiful. Now, the speed of the sign, how big the sign, okay, how serious the sign. Let me give you an example of that. Let's say it's more of a casual thing. Hey, man, you are beautiful, huh? Beautiful, okay? How about with somebody who means the world to me? I hope you saw the slight difference. Okay, that's pretty or beautiful. Let's try wonderful or fantastic. Wonderful and fantastic is sign the same. Four fingers together, your thumb outstretch. Okay, how about your singing? This is the sign for sing. Four fingers together to sing. <gasps> Get that? Your singing was wonderful or fantastic. How about a speech, like a presentation? This is a speech from a rostrum, a podium, you know, uh, an official. This is your speech or your lecture, okay? It was fantastic. You really enjoyed it, it was fantastic, okay? How about a painting? Two fingers, I'm painting a canvas, okay? Paint. <gasps> It was this. Now, can you see how I could have switched something though? If I want to say your painting was beautiful, how would you do that? Your painting was beautiful. You'll see how interchangeable some of these signs are based on the feeling or emotion you're trying to describe. How about skilled or expert? Skilled. Here's your left hand if you're right-handed, your non-dominant hand. You're gonna take this hand like this, grab the bottom, pull it off. That's the sign for skill, skill. Now, expert's a really unusual sign. Number nine, like this, up to your lower lip, like this. You are expert. Now, this is really reserved. You have to be really, really good to be designated an expert at something. Let me give you an example. Let's say you're a mechanic. Think of this as a tool. We're tightening that up, a mechanic. And if you remember an agency sign, we have teachers, we have mechanics, we have cooks, okay? This is a sign for a person or an individual. So as a mechanic, man, you have skills, okay? You have skills. Now as a cook, skilled. You are skilled as a cook. Now I'm gonna contrast that, let's, let's take this one. How about as a basketball player, okay? Basketball is signed like this, once, twice, like you're holding that basketball. Do you see how my lower two fingers on the hands are a little bit curved in? It's not really like this for basketball. Curve it in a little bit. Imagine, right, the shape of that basketball. As a basketball player, basketball to play, and the person, wow, you're a, 
Okay, see I closed the eyes a little bit and came forward. Man, basketball, you are an expert at basketball. All right, did you keep up with all those? All right, let's try the next set. Okay, let's uh, use some for restaurants, cooking, somebody's food, okay? Delicious, delicious. You're taking your hands like this, the middle fingers off the thumb, and they snap. They snap. You can be delicious if something is out of the world crazy, your taste buds are in heaven. Delicious. Both hands, both middle fingers off the thumb, and they snap. Okay? I contrast that with good. Man, that was good. That was a good meal. Good. So think about how you'd use that. Think of the last time you went to a restaurant or to a friend's house and the meal you had. Okay? How good was that? That meal was, oh my gosh, delicious. Now I contrast that with, oh, the cookies, think of a round shape, your fingers are spread together, and in a circular motion, cookies, oh. How good were the cookies to how delicious that meal was? Okay, so let's try this one, the lasagna. Two fingers like this, imagine the wavy noodles of lasagna. Okay, lasagna. Oh. The lasagna was delicious. Now I've given you three examples. Super delicious. Delicious. Good. Do you see how it's different levels? Your face, your emotion, how big you're signing, how slow you're signing can really add uh, meaning, right? A little nuance to that sign. All right, let's try it. Awesome and awful. Don't mess up here, okay? Awesome and awful, and it's the exact same sign. You're taking your five hand like this. See where my middle finger is in relation to my thumb? You're gonna flick it off, okay? Awesome, awful. It's the same sign, but the face changes the meaning. So let me give you an example. Um, let's take what we're doing right now. Steph Curry playing basketball, all right? Did you catch all that? I'm spelling his last name C-U-R-R-Y. He's a basketball player. Play two Y hands twice, okay? That's a sign for play. If I'm doing a player, right? A person, an agent, right? Player. So, Steph Curry is an expert basketball player, okay? How about this one? Um, long jump, let's talk about track. All right, so if somebody has a long jump, That guy is an expert at the long jump. Let's use the same sign. Do you see how I change the sign a little bit? Instead of this big long jump, he was fantastic. And it was small. He messed it up. He blew it. He's awful. Get it? And that was the two signs. Awesome and awful. Okay. How about, you hope you get this one. You're signing or you're signing, okay? Bam or sign, okay? <gasps> your signing is beautiful, okay? Your signing is beautiful. <gasps> your signing is fantastic, right? How about your signing? You're getting some signing skills, right? Three ways to do that, okay? Sign. Now, if somebody's been doing this a long time, they're an interpreter, they're certified, they're doing theater, they're doing music, they're doing official presentations, they're doing, uh, take academic work, you know, physics and chemistry and upper level math, man, what are they? They are an expert, an expert at signing. Okay, did you catch all that? Good. Okay, here's a bonus, okay. Uh, you've likely seen this if you've been in a deaf environment or a deaf crowd, when they sign applause, 
right? A hearing crowd, right, does this. A deaf crowd, right, does this. Five hand outstretched, and you're shaking them back and forth multiple times. Yay, congratulations, wonderful applause, right, applause. Now, if you want to say applause, you got it. If I'm gonna do it on a one-on-one -on -one basis, if I'm congratulating somebody on a job well done, Got that? This is just one-on-one. -on -one. It's not applause. Right? I'm not doing this. This is applause. If I'm congratulating, right? Congratulating, I'm honoring a performance one-on-one. -on -one. You were on stage and you were fantastic. Hey, see how slowly I did that? Not like this. Uh -uh. Wow. That's respect. That's respect. And then here's what everybody knows, right? Deaf, hearing, different languages, different countries. Right, the famous thumbs up, okay? Hey, nice job. That was well done. Thumbs up. You don't need a lot of sign language background to get that one. So speaking of that, would you mind hitting that thumbs up button on the channel? We're trying to grow the channel. I hope it provides some value. Uh, if you'll subscribe, talk to some friends and neighbors, and like I said, do me a favor, send in some requests, and uh, I'll make a video that works to answer your questions, all right? Thanks.